Welcome everyone to German Tour Reviews. Today I'm going to go into a topic which I couldn't find much information on, which are the different styles of Knipex handles. I'll show you the three primary styles that Knipex uses for their non-VDE pliers, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of each in my opinion. Most of the non-VDE pliers in the Knipex pliers line will come in three different handle sizes, which are the plastic coating, the non-slip plastic coating, and the multi-component grips. VDE certified pliers will additionally come in two varieties, the VDE insulated with multi-component grips and the VDE dipped insulation. For this video, we will just focus on the non-VDE handle styles. The most basic handle type is the plastic coating, which consists of a dip red coating that produces a smooth surface of medium hardness. I actually prefer this style when I'm using these for jobs where the tool may come in contact with oil and grease, because this surface is much easier to clean than the other styles available. The disadvantage to this style is that it can get nicked up if it comes in contact with sharp objects. I'm not really sure how these nicks got on this handle, but I'm positive it was my fault. The second type is also a plastic dip coating, but is a much softer and higher friction surface. This handle style was referred to by Knipex as a non-slip plastic coating. This style definitely has more grip than the standard plastic coating and sort of has the feel of a soft surface on a screwdriver handle. I feel that these are definitely a more comfortable feel than the regular plastic coating, but has the disadvantage of being a pain to clean when you get them dirty. This is because there are small cavities throughout the surface that can easily fill up with dirt. I'm afraid to use any heavy duty solvents on these handles that could potentially destroy them. The third type is known as the multi-component grip. This involves fusing together two or more handle components that produces a significantly larger and bulkier handle. The different components of the handles are identified by the red and blue colors. The advantage to this type of handle is that it can be much more form-fitting to the hand and they can add some additional additional nubs closest to the jaw opening. Even though there are two colors in this type of handle, they seem to be the same type of medium hard plastic. For some models, the multi-component grip can also be fitted with a tether attachment for situations where dropping the tool could cause issues, such as servicing a nuclear tip Titan II missile. I find that the multi-component grips are just about as easy to clean as the standard plastic coated versions, with the exceptions of some errors where there are embossed lettering. You can generally tell from the Knipex part number what type of handle is used by looking at the fourth digit, which indicates the type of finish and handle installed. A 1 or a 2 in the fourth digit indicates a plastic coated finish, while a 2 or a 5 indicates the multi-component grips. One thing the part number doesn't tell you is if the handle is the standard plastic coating or the non-slip plastic coating. Therefore, each model will have either one of the two plastic coating options. There are exceptions when dealing with the XL versions of some products. For example, the Cobra line of locking pliers is available in the non-slip plastic coating and multi-component grips in the standard sizes, but the Cobra XL versions are only available with the standard plastic coating. Maybe one of these days I can put together a quick reference guide to easily decode all of the Kinebex part numbers if there is interest. Now that you've seen the three types, quickly go through most of the Kinebex pliers catalog to give you an idea of how much variation there is throughout each of the product lines. I'm only focusing on the non-VDE grip types, and this is based on information provided in the 2017 catalog. First up, we'll start off with the product lines that are only available in the standard plastic coating grips. The 28 series long reach needle nose pliers, 32 series relay adjusting pliers, 33 series duck bill pliers, 37 series precision gripping pliers, 44 series internal circlip pliers with single joints, 46 series external circlip pliers with in single joints, 50 series carpenters pincers, 99 series concrete nippers, 68 series end cutting nippers, 75 series precision electronics pliers, 10 series ear clamp pliers, 84 series cycle pliers, 30 series halogen bulb exchange pliers, 86 series cobra locking pliers in the XL version only and the 71 series cobalt mini bolt cutters in the XL version only. The product lines that are available only in the non-slip plastic coating are the following. 48 series internal circlip pliers with lap joint, 49 series external circlip pliers with lap joint, and the 81 series siphon and connector pliers. The product lines that are available only with the multi-component grips are the following. The 95 series ratchet and cable cutters, the 78 series precision electronics pliers, 62 series electronics oblique cutting nippers, and the 36 series electronics mounting pliers. The product lines that are available with both the non-slip plastic coating and the multi-component grips are just the Cobra locking pliers, with the exception of the XL version which is only available with a standard plastic coating. The product lines that are available with the standard plastic coating and the multi-component grips are the following. The 03 series combination pliers, the 08 series needle nose combination pliers, 09 series Lyman pliers, the 13 series electrical installation pliers, 20 series flat nose pliers, 22 series round nose pliers, the 31 series short needle nose pliers, the 38 series mechanics pliers, the 72 series diagonal cutters for plastic, the 70 series general purpose diagonal cutters, the 73 series the X cut and twin force cutters, the 74 series the high leverage diagonal cutters, the 71 series cobalt bolt cutters, 
the 61 series bolt end cutting nippers, the 86 series pliers wrench, the 88 series water pump pliers, the 95 series cable shears, and finally the 35 series electronics flat nose pliers. Well, hopefully you found that little bit of information on the Kinepex handles helpful. Leave a comment below as to your personal favorite type of Kinepex handle. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.